Hi, I'm back again, Pete from Eco Fires and Stoves. Um, today, again, going to be running over a little bit of old ground, but there's a reason for that. Um, so very quickly, this is just another video with some tips and what have you on it. So it'd be a good idea, really, to subscribe to my channel um, because it, they're becoming so, so useful um, for, for, for customers. So if you subscribe to the channel, you can pick up loads of tips along the way. Today, I want to run over some things about running a wood burner. Obviously, wood burners are becoming more and more popular with the gas situation, what have you. So we've seen a bit of a spike in the sales of them. Um, and I know what's going to happen, like every year, people are going to start using their wood burners that they've had installed. They've never been used to a wood burner before, so they're going to, they're going to start to run it in September. And I'm going to get a load of phone calls saying my stove doesn't work. Um, and then the conversation will be, have you got dry wood? Have you got a cold chimney? Um, and a few other bits and pieces. I'll be asking those questions over the phone. The customers tend to be adamant they've tried all this, so I end up going out there doing a demonstration for them and I'm leaving there and they're basically a really happy customer because I've, I've kind of pointed it out. But what I'm actually doing when I'm around there, I'm explaining more in depth maybe about the reasons why this is things, certain things are happening. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on today. Okay, so you can see we've got me, my stoves running perfectly well here. It's really, really hot, giving out plenty of heat. It's got a nice clean glass on it. So it's running perfectly because I know how to light a stove every single time. One of the main problems that um, new customers having or people that are not um, familiar with stoves is they're getting a load of logs delivered from could be completely reputable companies, um, but there's a certain amount of moisture in them. Um, what is happening is if that moisture content in the log is over 20%, the log will really struggle to burn and give heat out because what's happening when that log is alight, it's spending all its energy boiling the water within the log rather than spending its energy putting it out into the room. So what happens is your log will just be struggling to burn. You'll have the controls fully opening. The stove's not going, the stove's not getting hot. It's because that energy is being spent in the wrong way. If your log is below 20% moisture, ideally below 10% moisture, it's going to burn really easily and all the energy it's producing is going to go into the stove and come out into your room as heat. So um, that's, that's the way it works. So, and there are some, a couple of other things that can make a difference. First thing in the season, your chimney's going to be very cold. Sometimes that's very hard to get going um, uh, once that's been achieved. That's what, that's what I've explained with my top-down lighting that you've probably heard about before. Right, simple thing to do um, to get over the issue of damp logs. And you can see very easily whether they've got over 20% moisture or under 20% moisture. A moisture meter, very simple device. It's got two prongs on it that you stick into the log and it gives you a reading. Um, very accurate little things. So what I've got here, I've got two logs that I've just taken out of our storage. Um, I've split the logs. So it's very important that you split the logs before you take a reading. You can put the, you can put the moisture meter on the outside of the log and it will say, give you 10%. Split the log and test it on the middle and you can have 30% quite easily. It's very common. So <clears throat> I've just split this log, okay, um, out of the store, and I'm going to stick it in. Let's get that up the right way for you. Can you see that? That's reading 25% moisture. That log's going to struggle to burn. So I'll put it in the stove, it'll start to burn, and then it'll start to go out again. Okay, this log here, I'll split. This is one that's about six months old. So, can you see that? Nope. Let's push it in a bit further. 3.4%. That's going to burn really, really well. And the difference is there. They've been stored for a few more months, just allowing that moisture to get out. Um, that will stop your stove working altogether, really. And, that's, and you're just going to try and use it. You're going to get really frustrated. It's the wood, almost definitely. And that's why when I go out to a customer's house, when I get these phone calls, I'll take a bag of kiln-dried or well-seasoned wood, take some new kindling, some fire lighters, and I'll spend an hour with the customer. And by the time I walk out, they, they fully understand. Because they've sat down, had a cup of tea, and I've talked about it properly. So, so it's all about understanding how they work. A bit like I, I strongly believe that car drivers are better drivers. They know how a car works. It's no different. 
you know, because you just know how to operate it. Um, storage of wood is also vital. So you've got, you've got to go to a reputable supplier, um, plenty around, I won't mention any names, but you've got kiln dried wood and you've got well seasoned wood. I'd always recommend if you're going to buy seasoned wood, which I'm a big fan of, buy it out of season. You know, buy it when you finish using your, 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 your burner. Continue the drying process in your garden throughout the, the, the rest of the, the, the summer months. It's going to give you a lovely batch of wood um, for the winter months. And, and, and I know it's, it's in the winter where people forget about it, they buy it last thing and then it's going to come up, it's going to be a damp atmosphere and you're going to have problems with the wood. And then people start buying kiln dried wood and start spending more money on kiln dried and they didn't really have to. Um, so the storage is vital, outside, well ventilated, um, uh, good airflow with a proper wood store. Don't put it in your garages and your sheds, it's not going to dry out because it doesn't let the uh, moisture go out uh, easily. Um, so without going on too much, I think that's, that's worth just telling you that today because that is the main problem. Um, the, the flu issues and what have you, they're, 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 they're about 5% of the issues and that can be easily explained over the phone. But it's, it's really all about the wood. Um, the fuel that you're putting in has to be good quality, well dry fuel. Simple.